Okay, ladies and gentlemen, as promised, I'm finally getting to my little review of some of the <clears throat> alternatives to Microsoft Office. So I'm going to go a quick overview of some of the open source alternatives. So I can start on that now. Move my recorder window off the view. As you can see, I am working on a little work breakdown structure for the 2010 Technology Discovery Day at U of B Mercy with NASA the Black Engineers. We're doing a little quiz game for Jeopardy. And of course, we'll have this event sometime around late October this year, so some of you guys can keep a heads up on. Without further delay, we'll go ahead and start working with the first program for the night, which will of course be Open Project. Open this up. And for those who have ever worked with Marshall Project, this should look very, very familiar. And one nice thing, like Marshall Project, you can actually copy and paste. Business pieces from your breakdown structure right into your Gantt chart program. And this makes things a lot simpler later on. So I'll do a control V, paste it in, make myself the manager. Get a brief description of what this is. So I'll say And as you also see, there are also different views on there. So I'll start with the Gantt chart, because that's what a lot of people want me to work with. So of course, for like any work breakdown, I have my initiation phase, my planning, execution, control, and closeout. So now I think I just skip and just say, you know, let's just work on the execution part of this, although it's supposed to include all bits and pieces, but we'll be here all night. So I'll start, so I'll start with the project kickoff meeting. So it's been a very sorry, small scale project. A lot of these events are going to happen mostly on one day, so to make that easier to work with, I said, as kids could just, as it's going to be phased out a lot further off throughout the semester. So the project kickoff meeting, more than likely, is going to be the second week of September, so I'll pick a date in here. More likely, Nez will probably have it during their little lunch break. So I picked that time. Yeah, I had to be a. Yeah, so I picked the. Yeah, so I had a meeting during lunch. Whatever. Okay. Guys, I'll finish this at 1 p.m. So that first event is already set. So now I go back to my Gantt chart. I mean, sorry, work breakdown structure. Go to verify and validate requirements. And this, of course, just be us checking to make sure, okay, do we have the right software, right hardware? Does the university have enough systems to actually run us on technology day? So we're just checking that and to make sure that people working on the project actually have the latest version of Net being installed on their CPUs. So basically, we're looking at a few developers. It's probably be only like probably half a dozen people. Make sure they have NetBeans installed, and make sure our three client machines have the latest J sorry Java runtime environment as you run everything. This is for this couple of days. Well, so that's done. Actually, I had, sorry, I jumped the gun. That actually took place in the procurement of hardware and development tools. So then we go to design system for, okay, what exactly we want to do. Verify user requirements when we actually figure out, okay, what did users want this to be and everything else. They pretty much say, okay, we just want to have a simple game where kids go in there, ask different questions about math and science, and then boom, they're done. Design system will say, okay, what type of interface we're going to use. How we want that thing to actually look and feel. 
kind of play around with that, those ideas, do a few prototypes, and go from there. Probably spend about a week on this. And now we get the hardware and software. And for us, the good news is the fact that Suns, Microsystems, actually, sorry, Oracle actually provides software for free. Okay. Next, I want to take us about a week. By 1st October, hopefully we have everything installed and ready because it's going to take two weeks to build the software and then we got to deploy it right afterwards. So actually during this time, we're actually we'll, we'll design, we're actually we're programming during this time frame. So I'll say testing and programming. Okay, it's actually going to be in-house. So let me fix that. Because like I said, it's a very simple program and we, are, we do not have the resources nor is it going to make sense to spend a whole lot of money. They got a contractor. Then of course we have like a beta version for people to kind of look at so we can have time to tweak it. So go through here, come on with some realistic dates for it. And right now I'm probably going to get people giving me complaints about this being a really long and boring video, but I'm actually trying to get a project manager job and want to prove out if you know how to use the software. So here you guys go. This is done. So let's see what the resulting Gantt chart looks like. Ta-da! And of course you can change your views. That's your network view, resources, that's your reports you guys will see, trust us and register you guys will add in that later on. This is task usage, resource, Gantt. Yeah. And now I can actually save this. So I go to File, Save As. I either use the Serena program or a Microsoft project. This sometimes breaks. So you may want to just go ahead and use the Serena one that comes with Open Project or just print out as a PDF file. Okay, let me exit this. Now I'm going to Gantt Project, which does a little bit better job of saving the file structures like Microsoft Project, but the interface isn't quite the same. Because you have to get a right click, then set up one new task, and then copy and paste stuff in here. So this can get really annoying really quickly. Kick off, kick off meeting. And of course there's no <clears throat> No, um, yeah, counter built in unless you go here for it. Yeah, as you guys know, this is where everything is located, so you don't get too discouraged. So I'm basically set to be the first day of the school year. Hit OK. Get rid of the little numbering thing, because you probably won't be using that. Now go, we need to verify user requirements. Show B, paste that boy in. Go to properties. This first week. Hit OK. And so on. You pretty much do that until you're done filling this out.
I don't want to synopsize or export this boy until um let's make it a Microsoft Project file. Actually, I want to save it first so I can give it a file name. So I'm going to call this do 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 UDM Nesby. Now go ahead and export this.